Jordan Gwynn is part of the Dripping Springs High School swimming team, and in the water, he looks like everyone else. But for Jordan, something as simple as swimming is a bigger challenge than most of us can imagine. Jordan Gwynn looks like any other swimmer. I feel like I was good at it because it was like my only sport. I tried other ones, but it didn't really work out. So like any other swimmer would, he joined his high school swimming team. It kind of helps me a bit because like I can just take my mind off stuff. If I'm having like a bad day, it just like kind of makes my day feel better and I'm able to like focus on what I need to do. He goes to practice, he competes, and he has goals like any other swimmer. But Jordan isn't like any other swimmer. Yeah, I'd say like I'm different than most people, but kind of the same. He's still a human being. A human being that was born with disorders of the corpus callosum, a rare brain condition known as DCC. So in a typical brain, um, that corpus callosum functions as kind of like a, a bridge that lets the two halves communicate with each other. And so when there is a disorder, in Jordan's case, he's completely missing that piece. And so his brain had to build new pathways. Jordan and his family found out when he was 12 years old. So something that might be easy for you and I, like swimming, is more difficult for Jordan. But that's why he got into it. I'm able to like be confident about like my condition and be like, I can overcome what that like how that was. Sometimes I just, I see him, he's just like everybody else. He's a typical teen. And on the other hand, I think how remarkable it is to imagine what his brain must be doing just to do normal things. Jordan Gwynn looks like any other swimmer. He joined his high school swimming team like any other swimmer would. But because Jordan isn't like any other swimmer, that team means more to him and his family. It's good to be on a team because I'm being supported by the people and it's like a good community for the coaches and even like at clubs, so I just feel like welcome. That whole saying of, you know, it takes a village, this really has been a wonderful village to help him build his confidence, um, just to have supportive people cheering him on. Uh, everybody has played their role in different ways and we're just very thankful for that. So even though Jordan isn't like any other swimmer, one of the things he loves about being in the water is that he can look like every other swimmer. But I'm the same, I mean, I'm the same person just with the disability. It's like, I mean, it's, it's hard, but my daily life, it's like I'm used to having this. Like, it's not that difficult for me. Jordan tells me one of his goals is to make it to regionals next year.